Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back. Hope you have an awesome day. And the last few videos that you've seen, I recorded over a couple of weeks ago. So I've been traveling a lot and I miss sitting here like in my office with my microphone and my little camera and my computer and making these videos. So even though you've been seeing videos kind of consistently, I haven't sat down to record them until now. So, hey man, welcome back, Jim. Thanks. Anyway, uh, okay, today we're talking about something new. And the first thing I want to talk about is I have this little tiny camera. This is a Panasonic Lumix LX100. It's it's a point and shoot. It's an all-in-one, not an interchangeable lens. It's got a zoom lens. It's got, you know, it's a small little camera that I bought just to have a pocket camera on the go when I needed it. And um, it's really good at that. The image quality is good, uh, especially in better light. It's got a micro four-thirds sensor, I believe. Um, it shoots as wide open as f1.7, so you know I can shoot pretty wide scenes, wide open and low light, and, and capture an image, which I'm happy with. The challenge is that these images can be noisy. It's a small sensor. Sometimes I got to bump up the ISO, and I'm not always happy with the results. So it always requires a little cleanup. And so what I've done with these historically is use things like um, the um, you know negative structure or noise removal like in Luminar and in Aurora. In Topaz Studio, um, I've used AI Clear, which I've done a video about before, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore because this video is about something new. Um, in this video, is uh, I'm talking about Topaz Denoise AI. It launches today. You can get it at the link down below. And it's basically a replacement for both uh, Topaz Denoise, which is their original noise reduction, and AI Clear, which is an adjustment in Topaz Studio that I've talked about and I love. Um, it's also a replacement for Topaz uh, Remove Noise, which is also a pro adjustment in Studio. So before you fret, because maybe you bought one of those things, hang tight with me here a second. Um, what I want to talk about first is that and I got to look at my notes here. Um, it is noise removal, but it also allows you to bring back detail and enhance sharpness. So it's a great tool for that. I'm going to give you a demo in just a moment. Um, the price is $79.99, but it's on special today because it launches. It's on special until May 3rd for $20 off. That's $59.99. Again, you can get it at the link below. That is an affiliate link. If you use that and make a purchase, I get a small commission, which helps support me in all these free training videos that I provide for you, in which case, thanks a lot if you do use it. Um, as I said, it replaces Topaz Denoise, which is an older product. It replaces AI Clear, which is a pro adjustment in studio, and it replaces Remove Noise, also a pro adjustment in studio. However, Here's the best part about what Topaz does is Topaz says, hey, if I ever upgrade a product, you get that upgrade for free. So if you own Topaz Denoise or you own Topaz AI Clear, you get this Topaz Denoise AI free, gratis, nothing, zip, not a zero. You don't owe a penny. You get it free right now. And that's super awesome. I love that about Topaz. If you had previously purchased Remove Noise, which is a pro adjustment in Topaz Studio, you get an extra $20 off um, on top of the discount right now. So you get it for a very, very low price. But Topaz Denoise and Topaz AI Clear uh, owners get this for free. So get it because you're going to love it. Um, and by the way, after today, all of those other products, uh, products are no longer available. It's all about Topaz Denoise AI going forward. So Let's hop into it right now and let me show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in the interface and if you've already uh, ever used Topaz products, the interface will look familiar. Uh, very simple, straightforward, and uh, you've got a split screen here. Now I haven't done anything, so you're gonna say, but Jim, that looks kind of noisy um, on both sides, and it does. I'll, I'll, sh I'll change that in a minute. You've got a split screen, you've got an original of, or you know, an edited, which again, haven't done anything. Um, and then you've got your, your zoom window, right? You can zoom in 200 or 400%. Over here's your preview window, so you can just drag this around to look at different components or different pieces of the photo. Uh, I'm gonna stick right in there because there's some good detail here, uh, but as you can see, it's fairly noisy. So uh, you do have the ability to brighten the preview window. I don't mess with that. Um, you've effectively got three sliders, right? So noise level, enhance sharpness, and restore detail. This is basically the same setup as AI Clear in Topaz Studio, except that noise level and enhance sharpness had predetermined settings like low, medium, high, or you know, mild, strong, something like that. Um, and restore detail, I think, was a slider. But now they're all sliders, so you have the ability to just kind of move them along a spectrum. 
Um, it'll default to update in the preview um, every time uh, you, you make a slider adjustment. I actually went and turned that off, and the simple reason is because it does recompute. So even if you slightly move the noise level, um, and then you want to enhance sharpness a little bit or something like that, every time you touch a slider or move around the preview window, it's going to recalculate. And sometimes it takes a you know a 30 seconds or something like that because there's a lot uh, going on in the background. So I've turned that off, and so I'm going to hit update preview, and we're going to give that a second. And it'll rotate through, calculate, sort of do its work, if you will. And then we'll take a look at the final result. Okay, so here you are. Now, if you take a look at it, let me draw the split screen. If you look at that noise reduction, look at that. And the, the, there's not really a loss of detail. And to be clear, let me tell you, I haven't done anything other than the default settings, so which is 0.2 on noise, 0.2 on sharpness, and 0.1 on restore detail. So if you look at this gentleman here, the noise is gone from his skin and all around him, but he doesn't look any less sharp or detailed than he did before, despite adding some noise reduction. And so I think this just looks wonderful, to be honest. I mean, you can just move around. And again, it hasn't done anything, uh, so the preview window looks the same because I need to hit Update Preview. I'm going to do that again, and we'll compare it here. Okay, there you go. I mean, if you look at that, I mean... I think it looks nice. I mean, the detail in the window it looks the same. Again, I haven't messed with the sliders at all. All the noise across all that just is disappearing. And maybe I'll come down here and do one more update preview so we can have a look and see how it looks on this, uh, this piece of the photo. Okay, here we go. And to let you know, that was probably about a 10 or 12 second wait for that to recalculate, just to give you an idea. Um, I'm sure it'll vary based on the photo and the file size and all that. So, but if you look at this, this gentleman walking here, the noise has been removed from both his body and his shirt and, or, and his pants or whatever. Um, but he looks just as sharp as before. And again, that's at the very basic setting. So I'm going to get another photo and show you some more examples. Okay, here's another shot from uh, also, that first one is from Florence, Italy. So is this one. Um, I was out one night with this camera there. So again, I'm just kind of doing the before and after. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and bump up the noise. And I'm going to say update preview. And let's do a quick compare on that. Okay, here you go. Now I bumped up the noise level to 0.65, and you can see that's, I think, done an incredible job here taking noise out of uh, these people. And again, they don't appear to be any less sharp because if you think about it, or if you're familiar with noise reduction, generally what they do is they just smooth out details. And so, um, I mean, that's kind of what noise reduction is, right? It's getting rid of detail and smoothing things over. But in this case, I think it's done an excellent job. Look at this wall over here. I mean, they're really noisy looking. And again, uh, I don't think I said this in the first photo. Um, these were all like uh, ISO 1000 or higher, ISO 1000 or 1200, 1600, something like that uh, on a smaller sensor camera. So if you look over here in the wall, I mean, that just looks amazing. And I mean, this photo is looking great. Let me show you one more example. Okay, and here we go again. Uh, here's a split screen. Look at this sky. I mean, that's just noisy. I don't care who you are. That's just noisy and annoying. And even look at the metal on this sign. This is from Berlin, Germany. I was out, again, with this tiny little sensor camera. But look at the difference in that photo. I mean, honestly, it's stunning. It's kind of mind-blowing. I'm in love, right? So there's the original, and there it is. Let me uh, drag to another part of the photo. Here we go. We'll do this. Let me hit Update Preview and let it recalculate, and we'll take a look at this piece of the photo. Okay, here we go. Let's do another split. I mean, look at that sky. Now, I got a little bit of blurriness back there. That's on account of the, I'm shooting aimed at the sign in terms of a focal point at f1.7. So, you know, I'm not going to get a lot of uh, detail out of that. But look at the noise reduction across the sky. I just, uh, I mean, I'm literally, I'm blown away. Let me do one more update here. And keep in mind, I haven't even been adjusting these sliders past the, the default settings of 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1 except in that, uh, that previous photo where um, I did bump up the noise reduction. But look at that. I mean, I don't even need to come in here to restore detail or enhance sharpness. Now, I can do that, obviously, because all you got to do is move the sliders. But look at the amount of noise reduction across the sky. And I think the, uh, the, the detail and the, uh, the sharpness look great in that sign, especially considering how zoomed in I am. If I was looking at this uh, full screen, um, I, I, I can't imagine why I would need to do that. 
Keep in mind that if you're bumping up the sharpness or the detail, it's likely going to introduce or reintroduce a little bit of noise. So there's you know, what I like to call a delicate dance between, hey, I want it to be sharp and detailed, and hey, I want the, the sky to be really smooth and, and detail-free and, and unsharp, right? So there's a little bit of a dance there, but honestly, I'm, I'm not even dancing, uh, to use that analogy, and look at the difference. I mean, I'm blown away. I'm super happy about it. And that was really it. This was just kind of a first look. Um, I don't know if you can call it a tutorial. There's not really a lot of tutorial to do. I mean, I'm, I'm hardly even touching the default settings and I'm getting beautiful results. So again, let me look at my notes here. If you have Topaz Denoise or AI Clear, get this thing, it's free. If you have Remove Noise, a pro adjustment in studio, you get an extra 20 off. Um, and if you've never purchased this before, you can buy it for $59.99 until May 3rd. Regular price, $79.99, and you can get it at the link below, which is an affiliate link. As I said, I make a small commission, and that keeps uh, supporting me and allowing me to come back and provide you guys with all these free training videos. That's it, my friends. I hope it's helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback, that sort of thing. I'll see you real soon with more videos. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Take care, and adios.